What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be using one of the coolest regional birds ever, Corviknight. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this is going to be my first time using Corviknight in Scarlet and Violet on the rank ladder. So hopefully we can grab some wins with it because I absolutely love this Pokemon. Ever since it was released in Generation 8 in Sword and Shield, I absolutely love this thing. And I do think it is one of the core regional birds with that steel and flying typing. Plus this is not, its design is absolutely amazing. So you really can't go wrong with this Pokemon. But we can get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Gengar. I know a lot of people love Gengar, including myself, so it's definitely a fun Pokemon to use on the rank ladder. It has Cursed Body as its ability, holding the Focus Sash as its item, and it's got Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, Taunt, and Haze for a wonderful moveset for this Gengar. Second Pokemon is going to be Garchomp. This Pokemon is very strong in the meta and can really go on any single team. It has Rough Skin as its ability, holding the Clear Amulet as its item, and it's got EQ, Rock Slide, Sword Dance, and Protect. I really do wish we had Dragon Call instead of Rock Slide, but I guess we'll deal with it and roll out from there. Third Pokemon is going to be Rotom Wash, and Rotom Wash is another one of those Pokemon that you really can't go wrong with on your team. It's got Levitate, it's got the Citrus Berry as an item, Rock and Hydro Pump, Thunderbolt, Terra Blast, which will change the fire if we Thrastalize, and then Protect as our final move. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Grimstone. If you guys have been watching any of my Sword and Shield or any of my ranked gameplay for Scarlet and Violet, you guys know I absolutely love this Light Clay Grimstone setup right here. It is one of my favorite support Pokemon, and I seem to play the best with this Grimstone. It has Prankster, Light Clay, and then Spirit Break, Thunder Wave, Reflect, and Light Screen. I'm telling you guys, I love this support setup. You gotta try it out. Bottom left hand corner, our fifth Pokemon is going to be that lovely Corviknight. It is a flying and steel type Pokemon with mirror armor as its ability, and it's holding the Rocky Helmet as its item. It's got Iron Head, Brave Bird for both stab moves, Tailwind for speed control with the team, and Taunt to taunt opposing support mons. Final Pokemon is going to be Annihilate. This Pokemon is absolutely taking over the meta, but this one is a bit different. This one isn't the Choice Scarf and Final Gambit Annihilate. This one's Defiant, Lumberry, and kind of set up and play as your own pace kind of Annihilate. It has Drain Punch, it has Rage Fist, bulk up to boost those stats, and protect for its fourth and final move. Guys, if you want to run this team for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this master tier Corviknight team. Hopping into our first match for today's video, going up against a really cool team. They got the Sand Rush, Le Lycan Rock, alongside with the T-Tar, then Bax Caliber, Miascarada, Talonflame for speed control, and then Arcanine for attack control, basically. It can drop physical attack, it can drop special attack. How should we play this one? How should we go into it? I'm kind of leaning towards Corvo, a little bit of turn one action, even though he might lead Talonflame. And if he does lead Talonflame, I feel like we just go for a nice level of Rock Slide and we just dump on it with uh, Garchomp. I really do like Garchomp for a lead. He, he can intimidate me if he wants. I have the clear amulet. I can only swap my Corvo, but I just like those Pokemon out here. Uh, next Pokemon, I think I'm going to go Rotom here. Rotom has the water that can dump on the Lycanroc. The Arcanine. Yeah, yeah, we got to bring We got to bring Rotom. He dumps on so many. Plus his Terrasalization dumps on uh, the Miascarada as well. So I'm liking that all around. And then final Pokemon, I could go Annihilate or I could go Gengar. Annihilate or Gengar really does work out fine here. Um, I'm just trying to see his Pokemon. I mean... I mean, that's dumps on both, but I do have Focus Sash on Gengar. That could come up clutch, so I'm kind of leaning towards Gengar here. But, but Annihilate is super effective onto three of this Pokemon. That's the difference. So we really need a Miascarada combo a little bit, but I'm going to go Annihilate. I'm going to go Annihilate here. I just feel like it's, it's typing is a little bit better here. We uh we don't have Focus Sash, but its HP stat is rather high. Its HP stat is rather high, so it can outbulk most shots. And hopefully we can get started here with a nice little victory, especially with Corviknight. I absolutely love this Pokemon. This is my first time using it on the rank ladder within Scarlet and Violet. Wait, it has some value. Let's see, they're going to end up bleeding. Okay, so Sand Rush combo is going to come out here. I don't mind that too much. I have the Chomp. I have I'm, I have Corvo. Uh, he does have Flying Terrasalization, which... Uh, I mean, I feel like EQ is still the play, right? And maybe just set up a Tailwind, just so I can take speed later in turns. I'm going to Tailwind here. He could go into flying if he wants to. I would still like to get off this damage onto the Slicken Rock. And after Tailwind, I think we can outspeed, right? I'm just gonna do this. Because I know Lycan Rock runs End of War. We know Lycan Rock runs End of War. And I can protect next turn and just get rid of it. So he's gonna try to slice into flying. I knew he had it, kinda saw that coming, but again, I want to get off as much damage as I can on Lycan Rock. 
I know it's focus hatch. I know it has end of water. I know it has rock slide. I think it has close combat here as well. But she's gonna drop a, a nice little rock slide here. And then we're just gonna drop a nice little tailwind. And then I'm gonna flinch. That's no bueno. And I'm dead. And I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Nice little flinch. We gotta love a nice little flinch. But again, we have tailwind out and about. That isn't too bad. I could double down into like a rock if I want to. With a hydro pump and something else. If I, if I wanted to. I could go straight into you, which I really like. I'm thinking just iron heading and thunderbolting. I'm pretty sure you don't have protect on the T-Tar. What's my terror type here? Water. Okay, that's not a bad terror type. I'm just going to stick with him right now. I'm going to go in with Rotom. I still have Citrus Berry. I have Iron Head. I think I'm just going to Iron Head into the... Uh... I think I'm just going to Iron Head straight into you. And then just drop a nice little Thunderbolt right into the T-Tar. I don't think this T-Tar runs protect. Rockside's coming out here again. Chipping up some damage. No flinches, please. And thank you. Iron Head flying here. Bring this thing down low. Um, that is a little scary. My Rotom flinches. What is going on? This is, this is annoying. I don't like this game. I don't like this game. I do not like this game. He's going to go for another Rock Slide. Buffett's going to fly here. And I, I got to land a Thunderbolt. I have to land a Thunderbolt. I have to land a Thunderbolt. We're just going to go for an Iron Head. I don't really think he End of Wars me. Actually, he possibly could. Then we just go for Rock Slide. Finally missing one. Who's dodging that? Okay, Rotom dodges it. I'd rather... Corvo dodge it, but it's fine. Oh, am I gonna get flinched again? Actually, I can't. In this KO, I, th I think it's things rocking a soul fest. Yeah, vest is definitely helping him out there. No paralyze. Another rock that comes in here. My boy's dodging. My boy's dodging. They're just ripping into me with this sandstorm. I'm not liking it one bit. But I know I outspeed the T-Tar. And I can get some damage done with Annihilate. I might just I know we cannot end the warm, it's a normal move. But I think another rock side is just gonna poke here. I could bulk up here, but I don't see the point here. Actually, it depends how many turns are left in Tailwind. Or not Tailwind, Sandstorm. I could bulk up here, take him out, and then double protect. Waste out Tailwind, kind of go from there. I mean, then we don't want to outspeed. So you know what? I'm just going to get rid of both of them. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Get rid of both of them. And of War does come out here into Rotom. Rotom might be able to eat up one Sandstorm Buffet. Or I think it does exactly 11, which could get ugly. It does end of war me. We go for Thunderbolt. And we take you out. Okay. I don't mind. I do not mind. So can Rotom get one more turn? That would be huge if you can get one more turn. But I think it's, it dies here, right? Correct. Bye bye, Rotom. Eat it. Live on one. Live on one. For me. For me. Lives on two. Even better. Even better, my boy Rotom eats, it survives. I could see our opponent double protecting just so the Sandstorm gets rid of Rotom, but I think it won't buff it at the end of this turn. It's the last turn. So he's going to go into Arcanine, and Intimidate's going to come out here, right, and Define boost me. That could be lovely, and I'm going to Terrasalize my uh, my boy right now. I have to Terrasalize my, uh, my Annihilate and just Drain Punch. I'm going to Terrasalize here. I'm going to drop a nice little Drain Punch, and I'm going to go for... Love a little Thunderbolt. Or not Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump. Okay, so not sitting in a bad spot. Not sitting in the worst spot. Could be worse. It could be worse. This is going to be a close battle. It's going to be real close. But yeah, we're Terrasalize and we cannot, we cannot afford to be a Ghost type right now. With a Sucker Punch Masquerade on the field, we cannot afford it. We cannot afford it. So we're going to Terrasalize in the water just to dodge up on those moves. Uh, Annihilate or uh, what's called Kengo for Willow is supposed to be once. I guess we're a knockoff. That's fine. He's going to change straight into dark typing. And he's going he's gonna to KO you. Okay. I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot. What are you going for? A will o -Wisp maybe? Yeah, you go for the will o -Wisp. I have the Lumberry. I came to play. We're going to hope that Meowth is not sashed. It could definitely be sashed. Which could get scary. It could get scary. Because if it's sashed, it's, gonna, it's just going to burn me again. Pain Punch is going to fly. It's not sashed. Okay. Okay, it's not Sash. It could definitely burn me again, but it has a chance of missing. And we are water type now, which I really dig. I really like this typing advantage that we have. Sandstorm is gone. Again, he can Will-O-Wisp me. Uh, I could bulk up, but I feel like Drain Punch might have to be our play here. 
until he starts hitting us a little bit more. Then I think we just go for drain punches and constantly get some HP back. Willow is from me again. Yeah, saw that coming. Lumberry did clutch up. But I feel like once he starts hitting me and kind of going from there, we can bulk up our rage fist. Drain punch flying. Not bad damage. I don't mind that damage. I have to guess this thing has a berry as well. I do have to guess that this thing does have like an Aguab berry, Citrus berry, one or the other. I could start bulking up. Bulking up could have been the play there. I'm just going to drain punch here. He's going to E speed me. That's fine. I'm going to get some HP back. I might bulk up here. Will I bulk up next turn? I mean, we are going to get a decent amount of HP back. Lovely. Um, I don't know when I start rage pattern. Or not rage pattern. Rage fisting. I don't let him hit me a little bit more. Again, bulk up could be nice. Bulk up could be real nice. But I'm just going to just constantly drain puncher. Just going to e-speed me. I feel like I need to keep drain punching here. Maybe one more. Because I should be able to eat up another two, right? Or do I just... I feel like I rage fist here for the KO. I feel like I rage fist here right for the KO. Seems like the, our best bet. He's going to hit me again. And then this should be able to do enough damage with the stacks on it. And we should KO win. Correct? Annihilate for the win here? If not, we should be able to eat up another thing and get this going. Yeah, worked perfectly. Worked perfectly. Annihilate coming in that back end. Terrasalizing in the water. Clutching it up. And we end up taking battle number one. Second match coming at you guys. Going up against a weird team right here. Going up against a Do Donzo team or Don, Don, Don Dozo. That's how you pronounce it. Don Dozo team. But it doesn't have Tasugiri. Really weird. Really throwing me off. I don't want to worry about that thing. So I'm not going to worry about it. Because again, Tasugiri is not here. How should I lead this one? How should I play it? I kind of want to go into Corviknight. If he wants to lead Intimidate, we can mirror armor that. And I can also go in with Annihilate. If he wants to Intimidate, we can also get that uh, Defiant boost here. But Sylveon could also be a Pokemon that comes out here. But Corviknight kind of checks that. So I'm cool with that. I'm cool with them too. I do want to bring in... Who do I want to bring in here? I do want to bring in Garchomp and Rotom. It just seems like our best bet. Is this the same team we brought in last time? I think it is. If that's the case, we're fine by it. I think we're chilling with the team. Only what's called can pop Trick Room. Sableye can pop Trick Room. And I feel like we can kind of just check it. I'm with this. I'm with this team. We're looking to go back to back here. Look to grab ourselves a guaranteed winning record. Third and final battle. We'll definitely get that Gengar rocking for you guys. Because, you know, Gengar's sick. Look at Gengar. I'm pretty sure we didn't bring Gengar in last battle. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I could have. I totally forget at this point. It's all good. It's all good. We won last battle. I knew that for a fact. I know that for a fact. My boy Garchomp clutching up. Or no, Annihilate clutched it up. I remember the Rage Fist came in hot. Took out the Pokemon. We won the battle. Let's see who our opponent leads. It is going to be... Da -da -da. Sylveon and Gambit. Okay. Again, we checked that thing. But it's probably going to Thrasalize. I can definitely see Thrasalize. Do I still set up a Tailwind? Do I still set up a Tailwind? I think we still set up a Tailwind. I mean, we already have speed. Our speed's pretty solid here. I could bird into it. Bird's not bad. I do like the drain punch. I'm thinking of just brave bird into this Pokemon and just dropping a Terrasalize on you and going into a a drain punch onto him. And I feel like he has Terrasalize in the fire. That's Sylveon's like most most used Terra type. It's going to be fire with Terra Blast, and I feel like he Terrasalizes just to dodge the Iron Head. And then throws a hyper voice out there, right? Correct? Makes the most sense. Makes the most sense, right? Show me fire terror. G Gambit terror? Yo, out my face with that. Uh, that's fine. You're gonna go straight dark. You're probably just going for a uh, sucker punch here. That's fine. We're drain punching anyway, and we're dropping a brave bird right into your mitt. That's fine. We'll take some nice little brave bird hits. And drain punch gonna fly. This is KO, correct? No, it's not even close. That's half. Hyper Boy's gonna fly. We soak pretty well. And what's he going for here? Assurance. He hitting up on. Ah, oh, my Corvo. Yeah, Corvo's dead. Okay, it's gonna take some Rocky Helmet damage. That's not too bad. Corvo drops out for the count. We did not get set up that one. But again, speed's on our side. I can go for another Drain Punch to pick up the KO if I want to. I could also go into you and pop a Swords Dance if I want to. But I don't think that's my play. I think going into a Pokemon more so than Corvo Tom is going to be your play. 
Rotom, Rotom. So Rotom's gonna come out here. I think we have to drop a Thunderbolt right into the uh, Sylveon. And go that way. And then still Drain Punch into you, right? Yeah. Sucker Punch gonna fly here. He going after. Probably my Annihilate. Annihilate should be able to soak that. Oh, wait. wow. 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 Okay. Hurts soul. Hurts the soul, dude. Gambit. Dude's, dude's strong. Dude's strong little customer. Thunderbolt's gonna fly. This isn't gonna KO, but... Can we get a Paralyze? No Paralyze. Hyper Voice flies through. Oh, so much damage for no reason. Sucker Punch probably KOs me. So I feel like we might just want to protect here. Even though he's gonna Hyper Voice me. Does he have Thirst Spray? Oh wait, we outspeed, so... I'm cool with this. He's gonna Sucker Punch my Rotom. We see this coming all day, right? Correct? So I'm gonna protect my Rotom. We know that Sucker Punch coming here, and I'm just gonna pop a free EQ. I just don't want my Rotom to get Sucker Punch. Because I feel like we we could be fine here. In this second battle, after we get rid of both these Pokemon. That kind of sucks. He did not... I overthought. He did not Terrastalize the, the Sylveon. And I could have just legit Iron Head straight into it. And been thriving fine with the battle. Sucker Punch does come into the Rotom slot. Nice little read by us. And EQ's gonna finish off both these Pokemon. Really solid play by us there. Nice little read for that Sucker Punch because, again, that would have KO'd me no problem. I think it's just a beast. Gambit is a beast. The Pokemon's so strong. Especially in Trick Room. Even without Trick Room, it thrives, as you guys just saw right there. So we get rid of both of them. Did we Terrasalize? Yeah, we did. We Terrasalize our Annihilate, so we don't have it anymore. But we still have two very solid Pokemon on the field right now. Very solid Pokemon on the field. Again, two Pokemon, I feel like on the scene, if I had or only had two Pokemon, these would be the Pokemon I would want on the field. Who's gonna throw a Hydra at it? Oh, we don't have Dragon Claw. We don't have Dragon Claw. We don't have it. The move I need is Dragon Claw, and we don't have it. It's like we're Thunderbolting into you. I guess we'll Rock Slide, maybe look for some glitches, but he outspeeds me. I'm gonna pulse into my Rotom. Rotom eats. So you're saying there's a chance. Rock Slide's gonna fly here. We, we can't win this. We don't have Dragon Call. If we had Dragon Call, we just win that battle right there. We don't have Dragon Call, we win. We have Dragon Call, we win right there. We dump on that, then we outspeed. We take out the Donzo. But we don't have Dragon Call. That's GG's. That is GG's. That hurts the soul. But yo, the Donzo looks so weird. Versing it with nothing. Like without the Tatsugiri. It's weird. It's weird. But I'm just going to run this battle. This battle is 100% over. He outspeeds me as the dragon moves. We don't have Dragon Call on the Garchomp. And we're going to lose this battle. Go 1-1, one one, but you guys know the deal. We're going to hop into a third and final battle and look for a winning record. I said it from the beginning in the team preview. The only problem I have with this team is Garchomp not having a Dragon Call. And it came back to bite us. We end up losing that battle. We're 1-1 one one right now. We're hopping into our third and final battle. Going up against a semi-Trick Room team. He has Mouse Hold. He has the Arm Rouge and Miascarada. Two Pokemon that can pop Trick Room. And then he also has the Golden Go. Glaceon, which is a very cool Pokemon. And Hariyama. So Hariyama could come out here for the lead just for the fake out. And I kind of want to go into Double Ghost at this point. I feel like that'd be really cool going into the double ghost and rolling out strong from there. I'm gonna lead the Gengar. I am going to lead the uh the Annihilate just so we can't be faked out. And then we kind of get after the battle that way. So both those Pokemon are gonna get the lead. I'm gonna bring in Corviknight just because I love Corviknight and I'm trying to showcase it for today's video. And then final Pokemon is either gonna be Rotom or uh, Garchomp. Need some nice attacking power, and I'm kinda leaning towards Garchomp here. Just because we're super effective up against a few of these guys. We just have to watch out for Glaceon. Glaceon could be a problem. What's your terror type? It's fire. That works well up against ice type Pokemon. We're going to take Garchomp. We're going to take Garchomp. In my head, when I was about to look at that terror type, I was like, it's got to be either dragon or ground, both weak to ice. So I was just like, ah, this kind of sucks, but ended up being fire. We'll take it all day. We will take it all day. Let's see who our opponent leads. Again, we're sitting one on one. I want that winning record for you guys, especially with this Corvina team. So hopefully we can grab it. Our opponent's going to end up leading probably fake out user. No fake out users. Just Golden Go and... Wanna go on Mass All right, not bad. Follow me could definitely come out here. So I wanna go for a Sludge Bomb with you. And I think I wanna Drain Punch or even Rage Fist. Oh, this is tough. I think I'm just gonna get rid of the Mouse Hole here. Let Golden go do whatever he pleases, you know? Yeah. Not a bad play from us. 
Sludge Bomb should go first. It does. It's gonna do a decent, decent amount of damage and pick up the poison. I think Drain Punch should be able to pick up the KO. And I think Golden Go might outspeed Annihilate. It's gonna be kind of close. It's gonna be kind of close. Actually, Annihilate should probably have this. We're hoping Drain Punch can just KO here. It does. Beautiful. So we get rid of him. I think a Make It Rain might come out here, which I don't mind too much. I mean, he's gonna do heavy damage, but I think we should be fine. He's gonna plot. Okay, so plot comes out here, but but nothing. That's scary. <laughs> that is scary. Uh, Quiver Knight would be lovely to get out here soon. Let's see who he throws out. It's gonna be Miascarada. Do I sludge it? So who do I think he's gonna sucker punch? I mean, I have Sash here. I'm gonna I'm gonna bulk up for free here. Do I bulk up or do I Rage Fist? My problem is the Sucker Punch coming here. And I think he's going to Sucker Punch Annihilate. That's fine. Go for a Sucker Punch, punch onto Annihilate. Knock off. Goes for a knock off here. Going to change. And you're going to take out my Gengar. Actually, Focus Ash pops before the knock off. That is lovely. That is huge. Because I get a free bulk up this turn. And take off knock off with the Cursed Body. And I get a Sludge Bomb here. This thing's not Sash. It's dead. Oh, change type is dark. Never mind. I forgot. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Do I Terra here? I think I Terra. I think I have a Mirror Herb. Yo, come on now. This thing has a Mirror Herb. You're not faced with that. Okay, so it has Mirror Herb. Uh. I definitely want to try to KO you. So I'm going to go you. I might Terra here. I might just Terra here. And go for a Rage Fist. Do we think it's going to Terrasize? I'm going to Terrasize in the water here. I'm going to go for a Rage Fist. I'm all about this. It withdraws me, Ascarada. And you're going to show us your final Pokemon. Not doing bad here. Armor is just going to fire. I think he wants to try to set up like a Trick Room soon. So I Terrasize in the water. That's solid typing. Solid, solid typing. I have Terra Size in the water. I have Rage Fist going over to Golden Go. I can see Golden Go terroring here as well. I, mean, I think he's just going to make it rain, right? Correct? Makes some more sense. I think he's going to go straight steel and he's just going to make it rain. After a plot. Oh, this could be scary. He's going to go flying. That's not a bad typing. Can you please just take out my Gengar? I kind of want to get Corbin in here. Well, that's going to fly. Can we get a poison on him? Oh, that's some nice damage. And the poison. Gengar. Gengar, chilling. Not cool. Not cool. Rage Fist gonna fire. It's not gonna KO, but still. Chip up a little bit of damage. <clears throat> He's gonna make it rain. Okay, so. Yes, cool. I was gonna say, and I should soak rather well. Which it does. Only does half HP due to that nice terror change for us. And now I can bring out Corvo. And from here, I can 100% see the Protect coming out from Golden Go and him popping the Trick Room. So I really don't want to pop a tail one considering speed's already in our favor. I say we just start attacking armors, right? Let me just get after that little thing. Let me just get after that. Okay, so we might even swap the we might even swap the what's it called? <clears throat> might even swap the golden go. It's minus two. No, he doesn't. He stays in. Bright Bird's gonna come out here. Arm Rouge, get on out of here. Corbin Knight getting a big time KO here. Battle number three. <clears throat> and this thing is not going to do too much damage. What's going to go for another Make It Rain? Rage Fist is going to fly again. Do a little bit more damage this time considering we took some damage. Not a little bit more. A lot more. God dang. We're going to soak that up too. No, we don't. We simply do not. Actually, does Make It Rain only drop defense stats? I thought it dropped special attack stats. But again, we're, we're, we're fine here. He's going to throw out Miyashirata. Miyashirata can't really do too much up against our Pokemon. I think this is just GG's. I can EQ freely to get rid of... Actually, I cannot EQ that, uh, that Golden Go. And I can Rock Slide it. I can Rock Slide it. So I'm just going to do that. So I'm just going to drop a Rock Slide onto it. Player can come in here. I just die. Oh, you have Player Oh, we eat. Okay, that's, that's, that's good. Good, kind of scared me. <laughs> kind of scared me. We're just gonna drop a Brave Bird. See you later. Bop. 
the Escarada is dead, and then Garchomp should be able to finish off this Golden Gun, no problem. As long as I can land a Rock Slide. As long as, as I can land a Slide. Which I do. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. GG's 2-1 for today's video. Grab you guys a winning record with this Master Tier Corbinite team. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a 2-1 winning record with this Master Tier Corviknight team. I absolutely love this Pokemon. Obviously, there are stronger Tailwind setters, but Corviknight's just so much fun to use. You got the Steel and Flying type, plus it's an off-meta Pokemon that you don't get to see too much. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive video, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.